Will you be getting one of the new COVID-19 vaccines this fall? I will not. Why? Well, I got the two first shots and they actually made me sick. So everything after, I mean, I got COVID with the shot. So, uh, you know, it's not preventing you from getting COVID. So I don't, I just don't believe in it, but I mean, it, I took the two, first two and I got sick with those. And then after I didn't take any, I never got sick again. No. Why? Well, I have had three and I made the decision after having three that I'm not going to have any more. Um, that's really all I want to say about that. Yeah. I mean, do you feel you don't need it? Has it made you sick? Like in what way? No, it hasn't made me sick. I had a kind of a rough reaction to the second one. Um, not much reaction at all to the first and to the third. The thing that I don't know whether it's protected me or not. I mean, I, I don't have any way to quantify that. The thing that made me encouraged to take the vaccine in the first place, although I'm not nor normally inclined to take things which I might be experimental or prepared in a hurry, uh, was that I really believed that it would it would end the pandemic and it would it would reduce or eliminate transmission. We were assured that that was the case and it wasn't. So uh, I don't really want to take any more of it. No. Why? I was I only got the first one because I wanted to go to a sports event. Then I found out if you waited long enough, you wouldn't have actually had to use them to go in. I trust my body more than I trust some of this fast science. If someone's telling me that we don't know the effects of long-term use of marijuana, I'm going to use that same point on how I don't know long-term effects on COVID vaccines. I really didn't give it lots of thoughts, but I probably won't. Why? I think it's getting less uh, I don't, aggressive and I think it's it's just like a very bad cold and I don't think I'm gonna get the vaccine. Okay, and what about you? Well, I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, why? I think it's safer. You think it's safer? Yeah. Well, why do you think it's safer? Like in general, in case like it's like in the the amount of the people increase again for having COVID, like I will be safer. Like, yeah. I honestly haven't thought about it. Um, I I don't f personally feel the need to. Um, I did get two shots when uh, it was all going down initially. Um, probably, uh, it's something I guess I need to think about now. <laughs> Uh, if there's a new booster out, I think I'd like to hear the reasons why it would be beneficial to me. And I think I've this whole time put my trust in people who are experts in areas that I'm not. And I'll continue to do that. Oh, sure. Well, I've had three so far, so I'll keep it up. I'm immune compromise. So, yeah, I'm getting it. I would because I work with the public, but it also depends on the amount of research that's been done on it and if it's more of a local vaccine or international vaccine where it comes from uh i haven't decided yet but most likely i will uh, when i get my flu shots i'll get the other ones too what uh, like it makes sense to get it i don't want to get sick like even if i get sick i wouldn't get as sick as i would have otherwise uh yes i will be getting it because of the fact that i'm i'm up there in age and uh and I'd like to live, be around longer for to see my friends and family. Yes, I will. I've had everyone so far and I need to protect myself as much as possible. I can't take the flu shot, so I go with the COVID. I've already gotten it. Uh, I've never had COVID and I would prefer not to have COVID because I have many other medical issues going on and COVID would probably kill me. <laughs> I've had two before of the COVID. Just to be safe, if, it, if, it's safe, if it's safe, who knows, right? But you got to take that chance. Yeah. Got to try to look after yourself as much as you can. Absolutely not. Because I don't believe in it. Because what COVID is, and when COVID came out, it was a money grab. I want to keep myself and my community safe. Um, there are people around me every day who are immunocompromised, or maybe those who haven't got their vaccine they're vulnerable in that way. So I, I think that it's a, a community obligation to keep each other safe. Absolutely not. Uh, I wouldn't have got the first vaccine, only I was living in Canada and my father was dying in Ireland. And I gave up my job to go back and take care, take care of him before he passed away. 
and that was the only reason I got vaccinated was because I had to get vaccinated before I was allowed to travel. So uh, I have a few friends who's had uh, a lot of reactions to the vaccine, um, and I'm not going to get fac- I'm not going to get another vaccine. Uh, I have two two brothers and a sister who never got vaccinated or vaccinated, and I think they made the right choice. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. Well, despite my my uh, challenges I have with big pharma, and despite it's not necessarily a perfect solution, I I don't believe that. I believe it's more more useful for me. And not only that, how about everybody else around me? How about the rest of the public? You know, whatever happened, I'm not my own little individual entrepreneur at war with everyone who has some kind of special freedoms and special person. I believe the opposite. I believe we could have done a lot better with COVID if we all had a pulled, pulled together.